What's new this month at Rogers Railroad Junction? Steam is king with Broadway Limited, who's offering up Union Pacific Challenger types. Resplendent in UP's two-tone Overland Gray livery, these were the machines originally intended to pull manifest freight over the Continental Divide. But when practice proved them insufficient to the task, the iconic Big Boy class was developed in response, and these articulated thoroughbreds were transferred to express freight and passenger service. Five classes of Challenger were built, totally in 105 units between 1936 and 1944, with two units surviving today, numbers 3977 and 3985, the later of which, for many years, held the title of largest operating steam locomotive in the world, a title that it has since lost with the restoration of Big Boy number 4014 earlier this year. Man, they just can't seem to step out of that shadow, can they? Built with a host of different features, the list includes illuminated number boards and class lamps, a detailed and illuminated cab interior, fully detailed running gear, and working backup light and marker lights. All this despite the fact that millipede tenders didn't back up too well. Their five-axle rigid wheelbase wasn't exactly dainty in that regard. There's even a working smoke unit with synchronized exhaust and steaming whistle feature. And once you're done tooting your own horn, you can move on over to SD70M Diesels from Genesis, one of several new offerings from Atherne's premium line this month. Somewhat unique within the Union Pacific's fleet of over a thousand SD70s, this was one of only three units to carry both the newer Phase 2 cab at the front end and the older two-panel flared radiators at the back. But with the standard 4,000 horsepower and next-generation alternator found on all SD70s, they did the job they were intended to do, and that was all that ultimately mattered to the UP. You really can't argue with results, after all. Featuring all LED lighting with operating ditch lights, full-end detail including MU connections and spare knuckles, see-through grill work in some spots, a five-pole motor with back EMF control and dual flywheels, and a Tsunami 2 decoder with Soundtracks digital sound effects. And beyond that, we have 13,000 gallon acid tank cars, also from Genesis. Often referred to as beer can tanks for the obvious proportional resemblance, these shorty cars can be found carrying any number of caustic chemicals. Carbonic acid, hydrochloric acid, fluoric and nitric acids, toluene, triethyl borane, ethyl methyl pretty much anything liquid and nasty can be found in these cars. Mesh platforms, prototypical catwalk designs, realistic safety placards, and even rotating bearing caps all feature prominently. Moving down the line to the ready-to-roll family, we have 50-foot FMC boxcars. Built in mass quantities during the per diem incentive boom of the mid-1970s, cars such as these were known for their simple construction, rugged durability, and ability to haul almost anything. Carrying everything from appliances to lumber to waste paper products, many of these cars remain in service to this day, despite being more than 40 years on in age. They're essentially a younger, more able-bodied cousin to our 50-foot single-sheath boxcars, also from Ready to Roll. Hailing from the pre-World War I era, when rail cars were just making the transition from wood to steel, the onset of the Great Depression meant that railroads couldn't afford new rolling stock, and the Second World War that followed meant that manufacturers didn't have time to build any. So as a result, 
Many of these cars remained in service well into the 1950s. How's that for getting your money's worth? Some ready-to-roll items feature wire grab irons and mesh crossover platforms, and all feature optimized weighting with knuckle couplers and RP25 metal wheels. And finally, we're giving the cold shoulder with 50-foot refrigerator cars from Athern's Roundhouse line. Typically packed with everything from fresh sardines to ice cream sandwiches, these are the cars that make American agribusiness both possible and profitable. From the open fields of California's Central Valley, to the dairy farms of the Upper Midwest, to the meat packing plants of the Southeast, when Americans eat, it's because of cars such as these. Featuring simulated grill work over their compressor compartments, prototypical stenciling throughout, and knuckle couplers and metal wheels. And it's just part of the massive selection we have in stock right now. So drop on by and see what else is new at Rogers Railroad Junction today.